Good afternoon, Asbury. I'm Rachel Law, and thank you for joining us for this week's campus update. Today we are in a different location than normal. Our team has collaborated with Jessamine County Tech Center to highlight some of the updates and renovations to their facility. Reporter Lucy Bryson has the top story on what the Tech Center is all about. At Jessamine County Career... We're so thankful for the opportunity to be here today and encourage everyone to come check it out. For another look at our location, let's go to Addie in the Gaming Lab. Newswatch 3, back to you, Rachel. Thanks, Addie. To wear shorts and a t-shirt or to not wear shorts and a t-shirt, that is the question. In the past few weeks, Kentucky weather has gone back and forth, being hot one day and cold the next. Chief Forecaster Lucy Bryson has the latest on what weather on campus is looking like this week. Back to you guys. Thanks, Lucy. Evacuations are underway in the city of Mariupol, Ukraine, as Russian attacks continue. While visiting Poland over the weekend, President Joe Biden's remarks about Russian Vladimir Putin caused global reaction. Chris Nguyen has the latest on the war and how the White House is clarifying President Biden's unscripted remarks. As Russia intensifies its mis- In Washington, I'm Chris Nguyen reporting. In another American response to the war, the White House announced last Thursday that the U.S. will accept up to 100,000 Ukrainian refugees and provide $1 billion in support for Euro European nations handling the massive influx of refugees. Alarming levels of dangerous chemicals have been discovered in food packaging at several fast food, fast casual restaurants and grocery store chains. That's according to an investigation released Thursday by Consumer Reports. The chemicals called per- and polyfluoroalkyl substances, or PFAs, are used to prevent grease and water from soaking through food wrappers or beverage cups. They're often called forever chemicals because they do not break down in the environment. These chemicals are also found in the ink used to print logos and instructions on food containers. The U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention says the chemicals can harm the immune system and reduce antibody response to vaccines. They also have been linked to increased cholesterol, altered liver and enzymes, certain types of cancer, lower infant birth weights, and high blood pressure in pregnant women. To reduce your risk of exposure, experts say you should take food out of the container as soon as you receive it and never reheat food in its original container. They also suggest reducing the frequency of takeout meals to once a week or less. Let's take a look at sports news now. Here's Asa with the latest. Today, back to you, Rachel. Thanks, Asa. The 94th Academy Awards are in the books. There were no big surprises, at least in terms of who took home trophies. But the evening's most memorable moment had nothing to do with an award. It was the slap scene round the world. After Oscar presenter Chris Rock made a joke about Will Smith's wife, Jada, referring to her as G.I. Jane, which was a low blow about her recent hair loss. Smith then went up to the stage and slapped Rock, and the two started yelling. Smith then returned to the stage later that night to claim the Best Actor Oscar for King Richard, with a speech that seemed to encompass both his on- and off-screen roles. Following the altercation, the Academy tweeted, The Academy does not condone violence of any form. Tonight we are delighted to celebrate our 94th Academy Awards winners, who deserve this moment of recognition from their peers and movie lovers around the world. Rock is not pressing charges against Smith, and Smith released an apology to Rock via Instagram yesterday. A blind 11th grader never imagined she'd create this much excitement with her basketball skills, but with one fell swoop, she's soaking it all up. Matt Whitcoast sat down with the Michigan high schooler to talk about the shot and the program that made it happen. Jules says before the game, she missed some of her practice shots, but when she scored, she says she felt like God was there. Well, that's all the time we have for today. Thank you for tuning in and trusting us to give you your weekly campus update. News by the students, for the students. For Newswatch 3, I'm Rachel Law. To all of Asbury, have a wonderful day. Good afternoon, Asbury. I'm Lucy Bryson. And I'm Rachel Law, and we want to welcome you to Newswatch 3. In today's top story, election season is approaching, and Asbury students are prepared to participate. Newswatch 3's Haley Anderson has more. Kentucky Eagles. As fall sports come to a close, winter sports take us inside to start their seasons. Newswatch 3's live reporter Madison Anderson is standing inside the Lou Center to tell us more. Hey, Maddie. Back to you, Rachel. Thank you, Maddie. I know I am excited to pack the loose and cheer on the Eagles this season. Last weekend, Asbury students took a trip down south to the Sunshine State. Newswatch 3's Noah Clark has more. Well, Rachel, you know that that only means one thing, right? 
Yeah, of course. It means that on the 26th, we're going to have to get a group of people and head to Louisville and get some Krispy Kreme donuts. That sounds good to me. <laughs> Those two companies together is an absolute match I made definitely, in heaven. definitely agree. <laughs> Thank you for tuning in to Asbury's Newswatch 3 this week. And trusting us to give you your campus news. We'll see you next time. Stay classy, Asbury.